Hi guys, I wanted to uh, show you something that I use for predicting my final grade, for uh, checking throughout the semester my progress, how my uh, term grade is doing, um, and what I need to achieve on each and single test to you know get the final grade that I want. Yeah, <laughs> you see that funny screen uh, is because I'm using OBS app to record the screen, and I was going to show you a little calculator that I use to calculate my grades. So it's called Ben Eggleston Grade Calculator. Very simple tool, very easy to use, and very precise. So far everything that I have been doing with this was really exact. So how it works basically, you put in your grade for the test that you earned. I usually use percentages. If you get like a point grades, let's say you've got, I don't know, 45 out of 50 points, then you would convert it to percentage and then put it in here and here you put the weight. Because usually what the professor gives you at the beginning of the semester is the syllabus. And in the syllabus there is always a distribution of marks for midterm, finals, homework assignments, group works, any quizzes, whatever the professor might come up to uh, test your knowledge. And so that weight um, and percentage is uh, given here. And then you can just either press the compute and it will show you your average grade as of now, like according to the grades you have already entered or earned. Or you can also put your target semester grade and it will show you exactly what you need to earn on the remaining tests and exams to earn the grade that you need. Here I have put in some of the values for my electrodynamics class. I believe it's electrodynamics. No, it's my modern physics class. So basically these are all the grades that I anticipate. Some of them are actually real. This, this are real so far. These two are anticipated. This is very optimistic here, but I really hope I can do very well in the final. And this is the weight that each of the assessments is going to carry. So this is the lab portion. 20% of the total grade is labs, and I have 80% on the labs. It's a carryover from the previous attempt, because I'm retaking the class. This is the midterm. I did very poorly on it, to be honest. And then this is the attendance and the classwork, like clicker questions. This is the quizzes. We have four quizzes throughout the semester. So this is the quizzes and uh, this will be the final. So these here and this here and this here actually are not final grades yet. Anticipate it. But if I click on compute, this will show me the final grade that I'm going to get, like the percentage if I do keep these marks the way I entered them here. If there will be any curving, then this will result in A. Very weak A, but I, I'm aiming for this number. And if I go back to... Like, you can either go back to the blank screen or go back to the screen that you had inputted the stuff before and do little changes there to see how that number uh, varies. So if I go here and let's say... I don't know, I... I wouldn't be so optimistic and I put in like 80% on the final and I don't know, for the quizzes, let's do 75. Okay, I click compute, 73. So this is going to be plus for this class, which is also not bad. So I'm aiming between this number and the one that I showed before. If, let's say, I want to do 90, if I want to get an A+, plus, I put in the 90 and it will show me something very interesting. Look, according to the numbers you have entered, you have an average grade and blah 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 on the assignments you have completed so far. And those uh, combined assignments are 100%. So basically it tells me I there is no way for me to get 100%, right? But if I would have deleted this one, I keep the weight, but I delete the grade because I don't know it yet. Let me delete this one too. I don't know it either. And this one, just to be exact. I'm curious if this is still possible for me to get 90%. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll just, you know, I'll just delete that. See, that's what it says. According to the numbers you entered, you have an average grade of 66 on the assignments so far. 
Uh, in order to finish with an overall grade of 90, you will need an average of 105 on the remaining 60%. Well, this is not possible to achieve. Like, this is over 100% on each of the remaining three uh, evaluation methods. Um, so, no way for me to get 90% of this class anymore. But I can still get an A if I do really well on the final and um, on those remaining two things. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. It's pretty much it. I will link uh, this calculator in the description so you can use it. It's very easy. It's the best one I could find so far. And I hope you find it useful. So thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.